Yeah, thank you very much indeed, Simon. By the way, you mentioned about buying there. I'm currently short in several instruments, including gold, um, as I'm going to show you. So whilst VSA, which I'm going to talk about today, does identify places to buy instruments, <laughs> I make more money shorting. Um, that's my personal strategy because, um, as I'm going to show you, uh, you can make money when a market's going up. You can make money when a market's going down. You can make money when a market's going sideways. You can also lose money. So today, I'm going to show you something called volume spread analysis. Before I start, just want to, a shout out there for the Pelican app, which I will be actively participating in next week. I've been on a seven-week road trip around the United States. We did a live trading event at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange uh, with live real money. Um, I do have a live account running here. I've got two live accounts that I'm going to show you today. I will do some live trading if we get time, but obviously one of the things I know we are limited for time and I've got a lot to tell you. So what I will do is everybody uh, who's here is gonna get a complimentary copy of my book, which is called Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money. And we will run tomorrow a live trading session for you. Um, it'll run for about two hours and it'll be at the London Fix. So it'll be between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m tomorrow afternoon and I'll, uh, if you register on our website, which I'll show you how to do later, you, you'll be welcome to come to that. So first of all, I want to thank uh, Simon Campbell and uh, Round the Clock Trader who puts on this excellent event. Also the live events that Simon puts on are, are absolutely brilliant. The last time that we attended was a massive success for our business and we support Simon in all his endeavors. So let's get going then. And before I start, because I will, as I say, I am trading live money, real money. I want to start by reading what is uh, an important disclaimer to you all, please. Um, let me just um, put the screen back on the other computer here. Just bear with me a sec. And I'm going to put up a chart in a second. Let me do this. And very shortly, you're going to see, I just want to make sure you can all see an MT4 chart. Uh, you should be able to see that very shortly. And you should be able to see that right now. I just want to make sure you can see my, my screen and my chart. And here it is coming up right now. So if you can just type into the chat window that yes, you can see that. And you're going to be looking at the British pound one hour chart and you're going to be seeing a very unusually high volume bar right here. And I'm going to talk about that in gold today uh, as we go through. And at the moment, I'm looking for shorts in the British pound because of this bar here. And I'm going to discuss that with you as we go through this seminar today. So let me just... Um, go through this disclaimer with you. Trading stocks, options on stocks, futures, options on futures, and retail off exchange, foreign currency transactions, Forex, involve substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance, whether actual or indicated by historical tests of strategies, is no guarantee of future performance or success. There is a possibility that you may sustain a loss equal to or greater than your entire investment, regardless of which asset class you trade, equities, options, futures, or Forex. Therefore, you should not invest or risk money that you cannot afford to lose. So, very limited for time, so I've got a lot to get through here. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Gavin Holmes. I'm an author. I've written two books, and I'm in the process of writing my third book at the moment. My first book was called Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. And also, we I'm a, the head trader at Wyckoff Williams Investment Fund, which is a privately traded fund at the moment, which is looking to go public early part of next year. Uh, that's how I started my career. Excuse the mullet. That's a, that's a horrible haircut there. But anyway, that's how I thought my life was going to go. Uh, I was with the Hampshire Police. I'm actually broadcasting live from the New Forest National Park, which is a place called Limington, for those of you that know it. But I spent 15 years of my life in downtown Chicago, um, trading right next door to the Chicago Board of Trade and CME Group, where I uh, do a lot of education. But my career as a police officer was cut short uh, due to injury. And fortunately, I managed to start my own business. And it was 17 years ago that I came across a gentleman called Tom Williams, who I'm gonna talk about shortly, who changed my life much for the better. Here's a picture of Tom, and what I do now is I travel the world educating. Um, we do online courses like we're doing here, online uh, presentations, but we also do live presentations. The last one that I just did before I went on my road trip was a live trading event at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange headquarters in downtown Chicago, where we were able to trade my live account using what we call something called volume spread analysis, which is what I'm gonna teach you today. So this is uh, the 2016 event. We were invited back to do it again. So both times we were there live, uh, trading on the exchange and actually trading futures. Now, I'm gonna show you today 
a system that I use for trading stocks, for trading forex, and for trading futures. And I'm going to show you the importance of multiple time frame analysis. Now, before I start, I just want to ask the audience a question. Uh, how many of you here have heard of volume spread analysis? Just yes or no. It'd be very helpful to me. Just type it in. How many of you have heard of volume spread analysis as a form of analyzing the markets? That's very, very interesting. So I'm getting about 70% by the looks of it are saying yes, and about 30% saying no. Okay, perfect. That, that's, that's great. That helps me a great deal. Let me start off then with a little bit of a conspiracy theory. Now, please, I'm ex-policeman, all right? And one of the things that I try to do when I'm doing these presentations is I'm, I always imagine that I'm in court giving evidence, because you can imagine... When I was called into the court and they said, could Detective Holmes come up and give evidence? It always got a laugh because they were looking for Watson to, to, to back me up. But seriously, when I'm doing these presentations, I imagine that you are indeed the jury. And some of you are going to know what volume analysis is. Some of you are not. But let me pose a question to you all. And you don't have to answer if you don't want to. But if you do, I, I think I know what the answer is going to be. Do you believe that the financial markets are manipulated? Yes or no? Just type into the question area. Do you believe the financial markets are or can be manipulated? And it's relevant to this presentation, so I'll show you. And not surprisingly, over 95% of people who've answered there have typed in yes, and that's not surprising. And for those of you that typed in no, that's not a problem, but let me show you some things that have come out on the mainstream media in the last few years which really back up this fact that these markets are manipulated. And why do I believe market manipulation is a good thing for traders and investors? Because it creates opportunities to make money and it creates volatility. Just a few examples. There was a great book. Some of you will have read it. Some of you won't. This is the BBC News website. And the headline on the 10th of April of 2015 says, The market is rigged, says Michael Lewis. His book is on my bookshelf right next to my book. In his seminal work on the role of high-frequency traders in global stock markets, Michael Lewis quotes Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's right-hand man. Mr. Munger said that high-frequency trading was the functional equivalent of letting a lot of rats into a granary. HFT, high-frequency trading. Some of you will have heard of it. Some of you will not. But the great news is HFT trading does exist, and it's going to continue to exist. But what is interesting is I'm about to show you a, a system that follows when the big players are moving into the market. It's something called volume spread analysis. Interesting, Tom Williams, the man that taught me, who unfortunately passed away in November of last year, he was 87. He said, Gavin, HFT is a little bit like Dracula being put in charge of the blood bank, which actually I, can, I, I think agrees with what uh, Mr. Munger is saying here. But also you've had other examples uh, in the news about manipulation. Many of you will be aware of the flash crash of 2010. And apparently it was blamed on a trader who hit the wrong button. That was the first story we were told. And then it was some guy in, in I think it was somewhere in London, who pressed the wrong button. Whatever it was, right, these things, these go on. Someone asked me, I was on Bloomberg um, a couple of years ago, actually, and I was um, being interviewed. And one of the questions was about market manipulation of Forex. And the gentleman next to me, who was an expert, said it can't be, can't be manipulated. Forex is too big. It could, not one person can, can, can rig the market. Well, I pointed out to him that George Soros managed to successfully attack the British pound back in 1992. I remember it well. And he left a very big volume footprint on the chart. Then we have CNBC reporting Forex manipulation, how it worked. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is the relevance of this to trading and making money? I'm going to show you. It's very relevant. One of the stories that's been very suppressed, but it's still out there, is that the price of gold has been manipulated, as reported here by Thomas Pascoe in The Telegraph. That was back in 2012. And Now, at the end of the day, gold, for me, is one of the main instruments that I trade. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. But I'm going to show you now the relevance between the stories of manipulation that go on and how you can find profitable opportunities on a price chart if you know what to look for. 
So here was the actual report in the uh, New York Post. Metals are in the pits. Trader blows whistle on gold and silver price manipulation. The trader in, in, in to, uh, who, was, who was actually blowing the whistle was called Andrew McGuire. And he did a presentation with me shortly after this was actually, this particular article was printed. So what is relevant here? I want to show you the chart. Now, this is the actual email that uh, Andrew sent to Elliot Ramirez at the CFTC, which explains that a manipulative event, and the date is February the 3rd, 2010, is about to happen in gold and silver. Now, this goes on in all the different markets, so I'm only giving you one example, but this example is a good one. And he talks about the scenarios of what's gonna happen. He says, I thought it'd be helpful to your investigation if I gave you the heads up for a manipulative event, okay, signaled, for the Friday the 5th of February 2010 when the email was sent on the 3rd so two days before this happened and he says this is how it's going to play out scenario one the news is bad employment's worse this will have a bullish effect on gold and silver as the US dollar weakens and the precious metals draw bids spiking them higher this will be sold into within a very short time one to five minutes with thousands of new contracts being added overcoming any new bids and spiking the precious metals down hard targeting key technical support areas, levels. Scenario two, which is actually what happened. The news is good, employment's better. This will result in a massive short position being instigated almost immediately with no move up. This will not initially be liquidation of long positions, but will result in stops being triggered. Again, targeting, and remember this, key support levels, levels because I'm gonna show you this chart. Both scenarios will spell an attempt by the two main short holders to illegally drive the market down and reap very large profits. Locals such as myself will be invited on board, which will further add to the downward pressure. Both scenarios will be an attempt by the two main shortholders to illegally drive the market down and reap very large profits. The question I would ask you is this, who is behind the southern, the southern selling? And is it the entity or entities holding a concentrated position? How would it be possible for me to know what would occur days before it will happen? Only if a market is manipulated could this possibly occur. So let me introduce you to the chart. This is a trade guide at end of day software chart showing the chart of silver, the SI contract on the 5th of February as the market was being marked down and it was marked down very, very quickly. Now at the bottom of the screen is what we call volume and volume is the number of orders through the exchange. In Forex, it's called tick volume and it works much the same way as exchange traded volume as I'm about to show you. Now, let me ask you all a question. What do you notice about the volume here on the day of this manipulative event? What do you notice? Just type it into the chat area. What do you notice about the volume on this price bar on the 5th of February 2010? What do you notice about it? <laughs> George says Yao Ming. Hello, George. You're one of our customers. Quite a few of our customers appear to be here. Yeah, a couple of things are going on here. Right, so the day before and the day of the event, the market is marked down, okay, marked down. So the sellers push the price down to lower prices. However, professional money know that they want to buy at these levels. So we have a green indicator here. It's not a signal, it's an indicator. It's called a VSA indicator. And it's telling us that the market here is being what we call shaken out. This happens every day in the markets. The news comes out, potentially it's bad. When you get bad news, you often look at a chart and expect the market to fall and it goes up and you say, oh my goodness me, what just happened? I thought it was gonna go down. And then the news is good, as in this occasion, and the market falls. Well, here's the reason why. Much the same as if you wanna go and buy anything, you like a bargain. I know you like a bargain. Everyone likes a bargain. So why would you want to buy silver at $16, $17 a troy ounce where you could buy it much lower. See, the markets don't work in exactly the same way as any auction house would. The auctioneer is trying to bid up and get as much money for the item on sale as they can. But if you're a professional antiques uh, collector and you see me up there as the auctioneer holding up this particular article, let's say it's a clock, and you know it's worth $500, but I'm asking for $5,000, you're not gonna bid. You're not even going to bother because you know it's too high. Financial markets work exactly the same way. Professionals, or as I call them, the smart money, 
have to buy on lower prices. They can't make a profit buying on higher prices. And on the opposite side, they have to sell at higher prices because they bought lower. So they have to make a profit. That's how the markets work. But most educators you'll hear will never teach you this. They'll teach you to use um, what's called MACDs, moving averages, stochastics, which looks at past price to predict future price. And that's why many retail traders are struggling because the past price does not move the future price. What moves the price on a chart is the activity of the smart money. Now, what we're looking for on a chart is what we call Yao Ming bars. I, I affectionately say Yao Ming because I used to live in Chicago for 15 years and I used to follow the Houston Rockets, or the Astros as they're called. And Yao Ming um, is a bottle well, was, he's now retired, a basketball player who was seven foot six. Seven foot six. So you can imagine there is Yao Ming, that he's extremely tall. If you put him in a line of human beings, and my little daughter Olivia's about three foot, Ryan, my son's about two foot, I'm six foot two. If he stood next to me, he would stand out from the crowd. And when you're looking at unusual volume on your chart, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the start of what we call distribution, which is selling, or accumulation, which is buying. Here, what we saw, as you quite rightly identified, is the two highest volume bars is here and here. They had another one over here as they bought some more, and they've got green indicators. In fact, silver rallied massively up to $49 after this had happened. So we have a VSA indicator. That's, this is our software that we use for our fund, and it's publicly available. We, we, we sell it publicly as well. And you can see it has an indicator description box. It says sign of strength, SOS, which doesn't mean save ourselves, although the people who were long here probably thought it would be SOS, save my soul. SOS 56, a shakeout in the market. It's a green indicator. It's a signal that professional money are buying into the market on this down move. And what we then do, we don't take the trade down here, ever. We wait. You are paid to be patient in the markets. We wait for the market to what we call change behavior, which I've written about in my book. And I'm going to show you how you're going to get the book and a video that goes with it that's going to talk all about this and how these markets work. Markets move on universal laws, just like you know that we have the law of gravity. You might not understand it, but gravity is at work all the time. Universal laws move markets, and I'll talk about those in a second. So very important, any change in behavior, meaning a change in trend, will start with ultra high or massive volume on the price chart. We call them, and I affectionately call them, Yao Ming bars, because if all of the people, if we, this was all human beings in a line, then that would be me, and that would be Yao Ming, and that would be my daughter Olivia. So now we notice the market begins to make higher lows, higher lows with green indicators as the market is falling. Why do we have green indicators as the market falls? Because professionals are buying. Why do we have red indicators as the market goes up? Because professionals are selling. They're selling and buying at all times. That's why you get big surges of buying, big surges of selling. Here we have what's called the test. Now the test is the best place to buy after you've seen high volume, the market goes down and the volume is getting lower and lower and lower. That's because professionals are no longer selling because they've already brought into the background. So we call this a test. And all of this terminology, which of course will be new to you, you will learn by reading the book and then getting the video, which is again, there's no charge for that at all. You just go to our website, I'll show you where you can get that. So after this, consistently we see the market coming back down to the bottom of the trend lines and testing these levels. This has been going on and on in the major indices around the world, especially the S&P, which I trade, um, the NASDAQ, which I trade at the Dow, um, and all, I, I trade mainly the American markets, but I do also look at the FTSE, of course. And these are the masters. The man that we are left is Tom Williams, who passed away, unfortunately. I was, I was with him um, last year in November. And this is Richard Wyckoff. Um, let me ask the audience, please. How many of you here have heard of Richard Demille Wyckoff on the right here? Just yes or no. How many of you have heard of the trader from the 1920s and 30s, very famous in his day, Richard Wyckoff? There's a lot of you typing in yes, and that's not surprising. Yeah. Okay, a lot of you typing in yes. Not surprising. The Wyckoff method 
is now becoming more and more popular. It's taught, the method is taught at the Golden Gate University. And unfortunately, a few weeks ago, we lost Professor Hank Pruden, who was a Wyckoff expert who passed away. He was the teacher and it's still carrying on. They're still doing it with Bruce Fraser in the Golden Gate University in San Francisco. So Richard DeMille Wyckoff was born in 1873. He passed in 1934. He was a stock market authority, founder and one-time editor of the magazine of Wall Street. He founded that in 1907 and was the editor of Stock Market Technique. And he said, thousands of those who operate in the markets now recognize the fact that the market momentarily indicates its own immediate future and that these indications are accurately recorded in the market transactions second by second. Therefore, those who can interpret what transactions take place second by second or indeed moment by moment have a distinct advantage over the general trading public. See, volume spread analysis, which I'm about to show you on a live gold chart, it measures the forces that drive the markets. Wyckoff tells us, successful tape reading is a study of force. It requires ability to judge which side has the greatest pulling power. And one must have the courage to go with that side. Tom George Williams, born January the 4th, 1929, passed November the 7th, 2016. He said, if you can read a chart correctly, you'll understand the markets do not move randomly, but are moved by smart money. And you can see their intention at support and resistance levels by looking at the footprints hidden in the volume and price. And then you will have a chance to profit by following their footsteps. Volume is vital in your analysis, which is why the self-regulated exchanges around the world will not release true volume figures until the day after trading took place. Now, Tom was a syndicate trader in Beverly Hills, California for nearly 20 years. You may say, what's a syndicate? Most of you will have heard of Lloyds of London. That's a syndicate. But nobody will tell you that these syndicates trade the stock markets and they trade the Forex markets and they trade the futures markets. And they're very private in their dealings, but they're trading extreme size. It's nothing for a syndicate to put on a contract of a thousand contracts into the futures market each day, sometimes more. So what is volume spread analysis? Well, you can find, because I don't have a lot of time, you can find a lot more at that website, but I'm going to give you a link to the main Trade Guider site, which is www.tradeguider.com, which is a brand new site we launched at the beginning of the week, and it's got access there to my book and the video, which explains everything I'm about to show you. So VSA, we call it Volume Spread Analysis. Do not confuse um, the spread with the bid-ask spread that you often hear about. We're simply referring to, when we analyze a chart, we're looking at the activity of the professionals as seen in the volume. We're looking at the range, as it's called in America, the high and the low of the bar. And we're looking at the closing price. We do not use the open in VSA because nothing's happened yet. We're interested in effort versus results. So why are we interested in volume? And how can volume spread analysis identify the moves of the professionals? Remember, volume is activity. We, I'm talking about professionals, are interested in volume because it tells us the consensus of opinion amongst the smart money. The spread of the bar and the closing price in relation, as I'm about to show you in gold, to the background, confirm the move. Now, I'm always asked this question, will volume spread analysis work in all markets, including Forex? Yeah, here's a Forex chart. Okay, this is Forex. This is MT4. We have plugins for a number of platforms, including TradeStation, MT4, NinjaTrader, Sierra Charts, Infinity Charts, to name but a few. This volume came in because Mr. Carney very kindly told us that they're going to raise interest rates. But I'm going to show you now that that is probably not true because it happened a few years ago and I managed to make great shorts on the pound after that announcement came out. So yes, it does work even in Forex. So let me remind you of 2014. Friday the 13th. Now, why do they release news on a Friday? Very simple. The weekend, people digest that news. Now, Friday the 13th, 2014, I've just seen the headline exactly like this a few days ago. Mr. Carney comes out and tells us. Now, he then tells us in 2014, we're going to raise interest rates. What happened? Interest rates fell dramatically. Okay, so we now look at the chart. The chart doesn't lie. Here is the day that the announcement came out. It's got a red indicator in volume spread analysis. 
This is my Active Trades account. I trade with several Forex firms, but Active Trades is one of them. They're a UK company. You'll notice the volume is extremely high compared to the other few days around it. The spread or range of the bar is massive. We have a red indicator telling us supply or selling is coming into the market. So supply is entering the market. The markets move on universal laws. One of them is the law of supply and demand. So what actually happened? The pound collapsed. We now know where it's at. It's down at 1.35. And it could go now down even further because what did they do a few days ago? The same type of reaction happened. The pound apparently was strong against the dollar, but that's not what happened. It's weakened. And gold, which is the safe haven about six weeks ago, has also collapsed, as I'm about to show you. So you can make a lot of money in gold and the currencies using volume spread analysis if you know what to look for. That's what I'm going to show you today. So supply has entered the market. Now here, in this particular um, side, there's a, there's a trader, some of you will have heard of GAN, WD GAN. And he has trading rules that sit beautifully alongside what we teach here at Trade Guider. Now we have two strategy documents for stocks, forex and futures that I'm going to give you today. These are documents that are based on the rules of GAN and Wyckoff and Tom Williams. They are rules. Our system is a rule-based system. So it asks you when you become a customer of ours, just open a demo, a demo account before you trade real money. Then it says take 100 trades. Then it says measure each trade based on these rules. Now most traders I know who lose money have no rules, they have no trading plan. Let me ask you all a question. How many of you here, please be honest and answer this honestly, how many of you here have a written trading plan that you stick to, yes or no? Please be honest. How many of you here have a written trading plan that you stick to? And this is not surprising. Okay, so far the majority is no, a few yes. And I will tell you, right from the get-go, as a professional fund manager, I have a 10-page written plan that I stick to rigidly, and I have a plan for different market conditions. I'm gonna share that plan with all of you today, so you can see it. It's my personal life plan, if you like. I don't just have a trading plan, I have a mission for my life. I don't get up every morning and think, I wonder what I'm gonna do today. I have a strategy. And it's not just for the financial markets. I have a strategy for my health, for my well-being, for my happiness, all of those things I've written down and committed. And I commit to it every day. One of the things I've learned to be successful in the financial markets, you have to be grateful. And I know many people will never teach this, but gratitude for what you have, whether it's not a lot or whether you're a multi-billionaire, is everything. Because you go to the markets with gratitude, you'll get lucky. So, what I'm going to show you now in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to analyze gold and the pound. And I'm going to, again, I'm already short on gold. We've got a very high probability setup coming on the pound, but it's not here yet. So tomorrow, I believe it will be, which is why you'll all be invited to our live trading session. So what I'm going to show you is volume spread analysis, the scan confirm trade. What does that mean? First thing, we use software to scan all the markets, and I'm talking about probably 400 charts, in different time frames to find trade setups. And we use something called smart technology, which is S-M-A-R-T, smart. The first thing it's gonna do is identify trading opportunities by finding unusually high volume on a chart, which we call in our system climactic volume, followed by low volume, which we call no demand. If it's no supply, it's a sign of strength. If it's no demand, it's a sign of weakness. And we wanna see those things at the same price level. So if gold is marked up on good news, it's a safe haven. And then in a few days later, it goes back up to that high volume markup and there's now low volume. That's a setup to the short side because there's no demand. And you're going to see this on the gold chart as I show you. We need to use more than one time frame to find what trend the market is. The three universal laws that drive market action. You might want to write these down because if you know and study these laws, you will understand what professionals look for. Law number one is the law of supply and demand. Law number two is the law of cause and effect. 
And law number three is the law of effort versus result. And effort versus result is the key thing. When supply is coming into a market, it means sellers are taking control. When demand is coming into a market, the buyers are taking control, as they have done in the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Dow over the last seven or eight months. Despite the fact that Donald Trump was elected US president and they said the markets would collapse. Two weeks after he was elected, the markets fell a little. But guess what happened? Professionals began to buy. It's very evident on the chart. So we want to show visually clear trend alignment in the timeframes we're analyzing. To alert the trader when a major setup has been found in any time frame. And our software does that via email. And we're also going to be using the Pelican app next week with our new trade alert service. To alert the trader when a sequence, which I'm about to show you, has been found. Okay, in any time frame that we're monitoring. And that can be done either via email from our system, via Pelican, if you're using the Pelican app, or indeed we have audible alerts, which you'll, you'll hear shortly. To allow a trader, and this is the key thing, to monitor and scan hundreds of charts at one time. So the system is sniffing out trading opportunities. We call it our sniffer, because it's exactly what it's doing. It's doing what a human being can't do. It's looking at hundreds and hundreds of charts at one time, and computers are very good at that. And then we're using our trading plan, which has been programmed into the system to find the trade setup. To show when the market's in congestion, which means do not trade it. There's a lot of software out there will tell you when to take a trade, right? And some of it will be right or wrong, but I can tell you this software will tell you when not to take a trade, which I believe is just as important. When the scanner is misaligned, there's no trade. When the scanner is aligned, then there's a possible setup as I'm about to show you. And then you get alerts, visual or audible or email. And then we have what we call bar by bar analysis. So I'm gonna to go to the charts now for the next 15 minutes. The market participants, who are they? The losers, they're the herd, as they refer to in Tom Williams's original book, The Undeclared Secrets That Drive the Stock Market. And in fact, you're gonna read a chapter in my book about herd mentality, group mentality, is what causes people to lose money. This is where we want to move you to. We want to move you over to that. We want you to be trading in harmony with smart money, and that's our mission statement. So with that said, let's go to a chart. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the chart of gold up. Now you're gonna see, this is now we're looking at a four hour chart, which is one of the time frames that we use to monitor um, our different charts. At the moment I'm showing you the futures contract in my infinity 80 charts, but I'm also monitoring all the major Forex pairs, okay? You can monitor every single pair, the majors and the minors. And if I come up here and I click on my Smart Center Pro, alignment to the upside has arrived. you're seeing now the system is now monitoring and looking for what we call trend alignment to find a trade. I've been long on the Swiss franc since yesterday morning. Some of you were in the Euro Swissy. You were in the webinar yesterday when this alert came up. Okay, and if I left click now, any VSA indicator, which are these green and red indicators that are here, will alert me to a trade setup coming. But let's stick with gold for the moment, because I know there's going to be questions at the end, and I don't want to miss your questions. Um, but obviously, please keep in mind, we are slightly limited for time. So that's why we'll do a live session tomorrow. Now, we know that here, the system, this is what we call our plugin. It's a VSA plugin for this particular charting platform, which happens to be Sierra chart, for those of you that know it. Um, can I ask you all a question, please, before just I move forward? What charting packages do you currently use? Could you just type it in? I just want to see, because we're looking to support a lot more charting packages. What charting packages do you currently use? Just be interested. We support eSignal, yep. We do MT4, yep. Ninja Trader, yep, we support that. MT4, a lot of you uh, MT4 people, yeah. Ninja 7, we support. Ninja 8 is coming out, I think, in a week or two. Sierra Chart, a lot of you doing that. So good. So most of the people trade station, we support. So all of those ones we, we support. And I'll show you where you can get more details. But I want to now show you on this chart a trade setup. And this is a setup that we alerted our customers to weeks ago in gold. Now, I'm going to start, okay, by showing you this bar here. We're not going to worry too much about what happened down here. That was the highest volume on the chart. That was a, there's no red indicator there for a reason, because the system saw that 
as a bullish indicator called what we call absorption volume. And over here, we actually had what we call our entry to the long side. Notice everything's green. The volume thermometer here turns green, which measures bullish and bearish volume. The medium term trending system turns green and these little dots, which are our short term trending system, will turn green. And several times there were long indications. Now, some of you I know immediately saying, Gavin, there's also red indicators here. They're right. There's nothing wrong with them. There was no demand. The market went sideways. We have a system that says in an uptrending market, we give strength or we look for much more uh, in the buying side than the selling side. But in a downtrending market, we give a lot more weight to the red indicators, which you'll notice happen as the market's marked up. So I'm gonna start with a VSA, a simple VSA Sorry, trade setup. All right, we just got a, an alert came in on the Japanese yen there, so that's interesting. You heard it come up. That's the system telling me there's a potential trade there. So I'll go and look at that when we finish here. Here we have an indicator. It's a red indicator. It's a confirmed indicator called an up thrust. Now this particular signal or indicator needs confirmation and it actually tells you because every one of our VSA indicators has a description to teach you what the market's telling you about itself here. It's saying the market's been marked up, very high volume, and a lot of traders here will be getting long. And the reason they'll be getting long is because they'll have in the background, the market's been going up, it's been going, so, so their MACD would say go long, their breakout system will tell them to go long. Their, their stochastic will tell them to go long. We're saying here, beware. This is not the place yet to go long. So we wait for the market to tell us or to change behavior. And it does so over here. You can see the dots turn red, the thermometer and everything begins to turn red. And then over here, we have a secondary up thrust. Now these terminologies and these words are all explained in my book, which you're gonna get. So if you're not sure yet, read the book <laughs> you're going to get it for nothing okay but this is the entry that we triggered here we can see something called no demand now that's a bit like the auctioneer holding up the clock saying five thousand dollars five thousand dollars and or five thousand pounds as we're doing this in england you can tell i lived in america for for, for a long time can't you but let's say it's five thousand pounds there's no one putting their hands up because they know it's too expensive so there's low volume Look at the volume, the market's going up and the volume is decreasing here. Okay, you can see it very clearly. So we've got two red indicators and what makes this a sell, a very good sell, is because of what happened over here. It's a trap, it's done quite deliberately. It's a trap. And in fact, if you look at the daily chart, you're gonna see it's already coming back down into what we call our trigger area, which over here, there was selling that happened at this level and we're back into that area. Everything is about the past. We always use past price, but not in a mathematical way. We're just looking at where professional money were in the market or out the market at a certain time. So we can see on the four hour chart here that the market is definitely moving down. Now I'm gonna put on the smart technology. And what you're gonna hear, and I'll put the volume up, is you're gonna hear a voice. And it's gonna tell us what trend is, is the market is in and what we should be looking for. Signs of strength, which are green, or signs of weakness. And in gold, we're looking for signs of weakness. So let's put that up. And we can see here the smart center. Now, we can notice here that all of these instruments are currently being monitored, but I'm gonna put up gold. And if I left click, I'm just gonna ask you all a simple question. Based on the color of this scanner, which is monitoring, a one minute, five minute, 15 minute hourly, four hourly, daily and weekly chart. Based on what you see on this, by the way, each box represents a time frame. So over here, you can see over the last 12 minutes while I've been talking, the market had an up thrust on a one minute chart of gold. Okay, one minute chart and this is what it looked like. Okay, we can see it right here. All right, so that's what it's picking up. And you'll see very clearly, oh, sorry, Alexa, it's my Alexa app in the background, would you believe? But we can see that this is telling us something. So let me ask you all a question. Let's have a little quiz just to get everybody um, focused. If you were looking at that particular scanner, would you be looking for short trades or long trades? What do you think you'd be looking for in gold here? Based on what you're seeing there, would you be looking for shorts or longs?
everyone's got it right. Everyone that typed in, right, look at the colour, and everything is red. Red means short. So you're looking for, exactly, you're correct. You'd be looking, a couple of people said longs. I'm not sure why you'd be looking for a long trade there. At the moment, if you follow the rules of VSA, you'd be looking for shorts. Because if we look at the daily chart, it's falling. If you look at the four hour chart, it's falling. If you look at the 60 minute chart, there's a very clear trap that happened. This was um, ooh, probably about 12, 14 hours ago. It's a red indicator, the market's falling. So why you'd be trying to buy into the falling price at the moment, not now, wait. When you buy this, you will get an indicator. When it's ready to, to, to buy, we have a very strong indicator in VSA called bag holding. It's a very strong, strong sign of uh, strength. That hasn't appeared. Notice that the market's being tested and failing. This is weak. This isn't strong. It's weak. And every time the market comes down, we get the up thrusts. We get the up thrusts and we get the supply. And that's why this system at the moment is looking for shorts. Now, let me show you the pound quickly. I'll show it. Let's do it in MT4, shall we? And I'm going to show you a different strategy. So, um, actually, I'm going to stay on the same computer so I don't confuse things. So, let's show you here the British pound. Now, again, you can see at the moment on the Euro Japanese yen, I've got a trade setter potential to the long side. I'm going to go and look at that in a minute. But the British pound, does anyone notice? Let me ask you. The very high, well, you, I'm not even going to say it. You must notice. Look at the volume on this chart. Okay, absolutely enormous. Okay, on the hourly chart. And again, we can see the market is going sideways at the moment. It's trying to push higher. What we then do is we look at our smart technology and we say, right, what at the moment is aligning in all the big time frames and the small time frames? Well, certainly the Aussie US dollar, to me, everything's starting to turn red. So we go to the Aussie uh, US dollar, okay? You can pick out any currency pair. You can see I've got quite a few of these open at the moment. Okay, so this is a five minute chart of the Aussie dollar. Now everything, remember, was turning red in the system. So it would come up with an actual alert. And this is what it's gonna sound like. Let me, let me, um, let me show it to you. And this is what you would hear. So when you're, when everything begins to align to, to the downside, trend alignment to the downside has arrived. The system will tell you that it's picked up, that the market's pushing lower. Now remember, there's two rules in VSA that you must understand. They're very important rules. Rule number one, when weakness appears, means shorting opportunities, it happens on an up bar. An up bar is a price bar that has closed higher than the previous bar. Okay, and it's the closed higher than the close of the previous bar, like this example here. Now, when a VSA principle appears in a downtrend, the market's deliberately marked up to encourage buyers to come in, and then they sell. That's why you get these signs of weakness. So when that sign of weakness appears in a downtrend, sign of weakness has arrived, you get an alert. So if we go and take a look, um, we can look at it in um, gold, we can look at it in the pound, we note here on the pound that we have a potential setup coming to the short side. Now, I don't have time to tell you what these lines are, but they're referred to in my book, you can read it, trigger numbers. They trigger a trade, and this is what I was waiting for. Mr. Carney comes out, but much like he did in 2014, and states to the market, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna raise interest rates. And the market goes up on very, very high volume, but it closes on the low. Now, only one thing can be going on there. And now what I want to see in this same area in the next day, maybe it could take two days, don't know, could take three days, don't know that, is a bar that goes up on very low volume. That would confirm that this is about to roll. Because in the background here, we have the very same indicator that happened in 2014. And history, ladies and gentlemen, in the markets does repeat itself. History definitely repeats itself time and time again. It's exactly the same with gold. If you look at the actual gold for our chart, you have the up thrust, you have your no demand bar, and we have a falling price down to 1291. Now, I love shorting gold because when it moves, it moves quickly. And you can look at currency pairs. You can take any currency pair you like. We could look at the, um, the majors or the minors. This is the euro, okay? 
you can see here in the background, we had a very similar indicator right back here. This map right there. See it? The trap. And we're back into that area because that is what many refer to as a double top. We could pick any other instrument. We could pick the Euro Aussie dollar, which is actually at the moment pushing higher. We could pick the Euro Canadian dollar. We could pick the Euro Japanese yen. Euro British pound. All of these things, this is, happens to be MT4. And I'm sure the question is, hold on, Gavin, you're talking about volume. You don't get volume in Forex, but you, you do. <laughs> and it works brilliantly. And it's called tick volume. Now, I've put together for you a document that explains it's called the, the, the fact sheet, the VSA fact sheet. And what I will do is I will, when you register from our site for the book, we'll send you a copy of the fact sheet. It's going to go out in an email later this afternoon. So all you need to do is go to this site, which is our website. Simon, if you could put that in for me, I think, I don't know if I can do that, but I'm sure you can. It's, it's the front page of the Trade Guider site. And on it, we've just launched this new website. It's brand new. You will see that there is um, my book, which is a PDF document. You can download it instantly. It's very quick to download. And the video course called Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money. And if you just put your email address in there with your first name, that's all we need. You will then be invited tomorrow to a live trading session with me tomorrow afternoon as we trade live. Okay. Simon's just put that in there um, for you. So in summary of what we're, we're looking at, the two rules, the first one, thank you, Andrew, was weakness when it appears, appears on up bars. The second rule, which is just as important, when strength appears or buying happens, as I'll show you here, it happens as the market's falling, usually on some sort of bad news. And if we look at the weekly chart of the NASDAQ, you can see here, the very high volume came in weeks ago now, demand overcame supply. That's why we're in a bull market. Look at the volume associated on this down move. Notice the narrow range on the bar. Notice we close near the top of the bar with the next bar up the next week. Demand overcomes supply. So rule number two, when strength appears in the market or buying, it happens usually on bad news. And I'll finish before I take questions by showing you a great example of what I mean by that. And I'm going to go to www.volumespreadanalysis.com Okay, and again, this is the website, it's just volumespreadanalysis.com and there's a video of my mentor, Tom Williams, which you can view, it's a very short video. He'll explain to you in that video, it's only five minutes, how he was able to influence the market with his syndicate. But I want to talk to you about British Petroleum before we finish here. This is the actual chart of the BP oil spill when it happened. And I was presenting a live trading event at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Boston. And Tom rang me the night before my presentation said, Gav, he said, they're buying BP shares, they meaning the professional money. And I said, you're kidding me, Tom. I said, they can't cap the well. They just came out yesterday and told us that. Gav, look at the chart. The chart doesn't lie. And lo and behold, the volume, go and check it for yourself. Don't take my word for any of this. Go and check it. The volume that came in, as they said, we cannot cap the well, was enormous. Professional money were buying BP stock. And by July, they brought pretty much all of it because there was panic selling pretty much everywhere. So professional money knew that BP stock was a bargain down at $24, $25 or £25 pounds because it's also traded on the London exchange. And the stock doubled in value. And VSA picked it up. Now, I have to admit that the next day when I was presenting and at the end of the presentation, the gentleman in the audience said, can you then, Gavin, tell us a stock that you think we should be looking to buy then? And I looked at him. I said, well, actually, BP. And everyone fell about laughing. They thought I was British sense of humor. And, they, and I said, guys, I'm deadly serious. We have a signal on our four-hour chart saying bag holding, massive volume, narrow spread, closing in the middle with the next bar up, professionals are buying on all this bad news. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how the markets have to work. They work by behavior. And if you understand and you read the book, Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money, you will learn. And you can print it out, 
It's got about 100 charts in there, I believe. Everything I'm talking about today is explained. The video that goes with it is explained. However, to finish with, one of the best things you can do if you really want to see this working live was the live trading event I did at the CME. And it's available uh, at www.youtube.com forward slash trade guider. Okay, so it's youtube.com forward slash trade guide. So I'm not done if you can post that in, but it's just www.youtube.com forward slash trade guide. You're going to see there we've got nearly 7,000 people following our videos. So it's 10 to 1, uh, 10 to 2. Yes, it's gone really quickly. I'll take a few questions and then I'm going to hand back to, uh, to Simon. Um, and let's see if there's any questions before I, um, I finish here. And I'm sure we'll have some sort of promotion that we'll send through Simon to you. Yeah, no, Gordon, this works in currencies. It works in Forex. Uh, look, this is Forex here. Okay, so this is a Forex chart. Does it work in the stock market? Absolutely. Okay, I've got stocks running on the other computer here. Just don't have time to show you. But it's all on, all on YouTube. So, yes, it does to answer that question. It works very well for stocks. In fact, our hedge fund, our fund, is mainly trading at the moment stocks and futures. That's what it trades. Um, right, John says you had a Euro JPY indicator alert come up. Yeah, we did. We did. So let's go and have a quick look at the Euro JPY and see what it was. Now let's go to a smaller time frame. I suspect it was a long alert, if I recall. I'll just put the time frame. Trend up. alignment to the upside has arrived. Okay, so we've got trend alignment to the upside here on the pound Swiss. So I left click in there. It's now looking for an indicator. Now there was the alert. It wasn't a trade alert. It was a trend alignment alert. So you can see here on the Euro JPY, it's saying that the weekly, daily, four hour, one hour and 30 minute charts are aligning to the upside. If I put up the scanner, it's showing that clearly. So let me ask you a quick question before I hand back to Simon. Would you be looking for longs or shorts based on what I've told you today, looking at that chart? What do you think? You'd be looking for longs, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. Now, in order to get my trading plan that I promised you, all you need to do, and even if you're an existing customer, go back and do it. I will send a copy of it to Simon anyway, okay, so he's got it. But regardless of that, I will, if you, Go into the Trade Guider website, the front page there, just put your details in there, and I will get that out to you this afternoon or, or later this evening. With that, I want to thank all of you for your time today. It's valuable, I know. I hope I've helped you. I hope you've learned something. I wish you good trading. I wish you good constant profit, and God bless you all. Take care. Simon, back over to you, and thanks for you, Simon, to you for putting on these great events. Over to you. Gavin, my pleasure, and uh, thank you for finishing on time, the professional presenter that you are. Thank you for that. It was a super presentation. Uh, thank you. The, the links there are in the chat box, folks, if you uh, want to uh, refer to these websites that Gavin has just been talking about um, to get yourself registered for that live trading event he's doing tomorrow, uh, trade, tradeguider.com, and also to see the recordings of the previous events, uh, youtube.com forward slash tradeguider. So you should see that on the uh, chat box. Um, is the volume indicator available on MT4? Peter's asking, oh, Gavin, you've already answered. That's great. Uh, thank you. I think you still have these, uh, the control to answer these questions. Fantastic.